All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Meme Daddy's Podcast. I am Tank Sinatra, and I'm here with my um, my guy, Adam the Creator. My man. My guy. My man. My guy. My dude. What's up, brother? He's from Staten Island originally, so. <laughs> dude, dude, what the fuck's going on, man? Oh, let's go get a bagel. I remember when we went out to dinner with those guys that fed us um, like we were fucking. Oh, that guy. And the more you drank, the more you were like, yo, I'm saying, though, like, yo, I mean, like, I was like, yo, this guy really is from the fucking garbage island of New York. You start smelling it, right? Oh, you started talking like real, like Shaolin. Yeah, yeah. The more you drank, the more I was like, yo, this guy is fucking. He really is from Staten Island. He really is from Staten Island. I see I, a Padilla. Yeah, the this seagull guy, started circling. This guy is from fucking Staten Island. Yeah, for real, though. He was, uh, yeah, you got real. You got real urban on on us. You know, that that's like the other side. It just kind of comes out when you feed me like I'm going to the electric chair. Yeah. And you just keep pouring wine. Yeah. And beer. Yeah. Um, well, uh, thanks for clicking play here on. Yep. Shout out to Jarrett Bellucci. Beautiful sky or whatever the fuck. Beautiful he light. He's beautiful a, light. He is a beautiful light. Thank you, Adam. What does Jarrett mean? I mean, never wears not. never wears pants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not beautiful sky. <laughs> it's just uh, it negates whatever comes after it. <laughs> it's dim and cloudy. Sky not. <laughs> this guy is not sky. <laughs> not beautiful. <laughs> no, Jarrett is our producer. He's very fucking talented, and he's the only reason we're able to do this, aside from our genius brains pumping out content. <laughs> meme daddies. You know, we look at memes. We're dads. You know, it's a silly goose time here, and we're fucking having fun, and we're just, you know, we're, we're just here to have fun, and we hope you're having fun, too. Last episode, we got a little serious, but hey, it happens. What are you going to do? You know? It was very rainy that day. Yeah, it was. It's so nice today. Though. Very rainy, very cloudy. Yeah. So we're smoking, mm, well, you know. Stogies? J.R. Cigars, 50th anniversary, Davidoff. And J.R. Cigars sent these to me because I commented on one of their posts, and they said, they was talking about Davidoff and how great they are. I was like, I've never had a good Davidoff. And they were like, he was talking about the draw. I was like, the draw is always super tight. He's like, I'm going to send you something that is going to change your mind on that. So well, that's these... Say. Perfect. Yeah. Like legitimately fucking, he was right. 50th anniversary, Davidoff, limited edition, Geneva, Switzerland, fucking nice. Smooth as hell, too. Mm hmm. So, thank you, JR Cigars. And calling all gays. <laughs> I've made a decision uh, unilaterally. That when we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, we're going to do a shirtless episode. Oh, I thought you, okay. I thought you were going to go totally gay. Like, No, no. Not publicly. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I like just, that. Yeah, I just know gay people love us. Yeah. You know, I get a lot of DMs from, from gay guys. Good for you. That's the nicest compliment. Oh, yeah. Right? What makes you feel better than that? Come on. Listen, they did, my wife can't get mad. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a victimless crime. It's a victimless crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. guilty pleasure. And and most of the time, sometimes I'll get a dick pic and I'm like, bro, enough already. But when they're like nice and they're like, you know, you're you're attractive. You're you're such a you know you're a bear or whatever or a twink twink or you know yeah whatever it is, um, you know it's a, it's it is what it is. It's not. When I was younger, I was, you know, cornered a couple of times. That was very uncomfortable, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. I'm a man now. But now, if, so that's the call. 100,000? 100,000 shirtless episodes. Done. Yeah, done. I think, I mean, there's definitely 100,000 gay people in the world. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. In this town. In this room. <laughs> <laughs> 100,000. <000. laughs> I'm 50,000 of them, bro. 
Thank God we don't have Chris Stefano in here. Oh, yeah. He'd be at 75,000 of them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to look at some memes here. We're going to have some fun. I got some bangers lined up here, dude. Like, Let's you don't go. even know what's about to hit you. Launch. This one made me laugh out loud when I saw it. Y'all out here ordering well-done steak, shaking the whole table, trying to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, take it easy on the fucking steak. Yeah. It's not chicken. There's multiple. Uh, listen, I, uh, I'm i of the mindset you should cook the meat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not of the mindset where it's like. Not raw. Yeah, just introduce it to the fucking grill and take it off. Like, I don't, that whole, like, when I worked at steakhouses and all that, and people would be like, I want it cold on the inside. I'd be like, are you, are you okay? That's one extreme. That's yes. disgusting, sir. What are you doing to yourself? <laughs> you want to feel the fucking right. ligaments running through it? <laughs> right, right. Why? They we call it blue, I think, right? Black they and keep blue. it blue, yeah, black. Black and blue, Pittsburgh style. What are you trying to prove, dude? On the other side, with this whole shaking the table thing, can't be brown all the way through. It can't be the same color in the middle as outside of it. Mm -mm. What's wrong with you? You ruined it. I know good you people. Blew who it! Do, you blew it. I know good people who do that. Medium is the temperature. Let's be yes. Medium is and and medium rare. I'm I'm leaning toward medium rare. I was I don't go rare. I was just gonna say. We're probably talking about the same thing. Because yeah, yeah, you're right. That's the other thing people don't realize. They're like, uh, people used to say, I want it in between medium rare and medium. Like, oh, that, how granular can you get? It doesn't exist, sir. No, it does not. I'm going to bring it to you the way we think you should eat it, and you're probably <laughs> going to love it. So I'm just going to pretend I'm writing something, <laughs> and that'll be the end of it. Um, if anything, we're going to undercook it, because you can always send it back if you want to cook more. We can't uncook it. That's right. We can't go back in time here, you know? Yep. But well done is like, so you don't want steak. You want jerky? You it want beef shouldn't jerky? be called well. It should be called poorly done. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I do like w well done fries, though. It's, I mean, it's different. You like crispy fries. I like crispy fucking fries, dude. I beg, beg on DoorDash in the, in the adjustments. I say extra well done crispy fries, please. On every fucking, every fry order. <laughs> Everything that has fries. <laughs> Hoping they'll see it once and do it to all of them. Do they do it? No. No. They're not going to make special fries for you. You know what? The fry operation is big. They're fucking churning fries out. They're going to make one batch for you? I'm just saying, put them in there an extra 30 seconds. That's all it takes. But don't they have to put a whole batch in? Yeah. Grab some ones that are at the bottom. Yeah, the hand select them for me. I want only the pointy ones on the bottom. Please, man. I just want the crispy ones. I like them fucking... I like them crunchy. I don't want soggy fries. Do you like those fr the crinkle cut fries? I'm not into no. them. They're like dry. It's like cardboard. What Shake this, Shack and all that this, shit. the 80s? No, Shake Shack does them. I know. I'm what is not this, into the 80s? It. Yeah, 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 right. It's like Orida, like the yeah. fucking... <laughs> The microwave ones, right? More microwave magic. Elio's, all right, of fries. These are all right. Of. No, they're not. They're all shit. Yeah, no good. Yeah. <laughs> they're pretty bad. Uh. They're well done, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes. Very good, Adam. I like that. I like. Uh, that was very good. Fuck it. Taxes came back. I had to flood out Gilbert. <laughs> flood out. Fucking <laughs> 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 Finn is pierced. Covered in Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I sometimes I th see things on the internet. I'm just like, what goes? Obviously, I don't know if the if the fish really looks like that. Probably not. Um, yeah, I would say definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah. But the fact that th that this occurred to somebody, and they made it real, and then wrote. I mean, maybe somebody just made a Louis Vuitton fish. Right. And then somebody wrote the caption, you know, name the fish Gilbert. It's just fantastic. Genius. I love the little ghetto emoji, too, at the bottom. It's How do you not form. love memes? It's just the best little short form. It's like popping a little fucking delicious morsel in your mouth. Like, mm. popcorn shrimp. No, oh, it's good. Yeah. We don't, we don't all need prawns all the time, you know? No, no, no. A little popcorn, a little well-breaded. Mm. Perfectly Tasty breaded. meme. Fucking tempura on it. Some tasty memes. Spicy. 
Yeah, you know, it is a it is fish. <laughs> it's a fish. Mm. It is what it is. What kind of water do you think he's in? Fiji? Voss? <laughs> yeah, he's going to be dead soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a saltwater fish. In case you were wondering, me and my husband can see you half-naked smoking from that bong through your front window across the street. Do I look cool? <laughs> <laughs> 11.58 p.m., 1201. Yeah. So he was just fucking cool. smoking, half-naked. Got the alert. Wondering if people could see him. Waiting for the text. And he got one. Probably looked pretty cool. I mean, if she texted him. Yeah, like you know what, what kind I mean? of bong was it? Like a cool bong? Big enough that she could see it from across the street. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. She didn't question what it was. I mean, it must have been at least a foot and a half, two footer, you know? There are so many bong shops in New York City. Really? So many bong. There are like three on my block. Just bongs. Just bongs? No, I mean, they sell other things. But, I mean, bongs, two footer glass bongs. How many people are buying those? A lot, I guess. I guess so. It's legal now, right? Yeah, but are people still smoking out of like two footer glass bongs. I guess when they can get them easier, they're buying them more. I don't know. I mean, th- when I was growing up, there was one place called East Coast Psychedelics in Comac. You remember that place, right? Mm-hmm. The hippie shop mm-hmm. used to be in the flea market, um, and then they got a they got like a real retail spot. They sold like Rasta. Yep. Ashtrays and shit. And bongs. And bongs. And de- Bajas. Per- whippets. Bajas, Pearl Jam t-shirts. You know, whatever you really wanted <laughs> in the 80s. And you know what's so funny? Working for myself now, I remember seeing that guy and being like, that guy's fucking living the dream, man. He probably makes a million dollars a year. So, the proprietor of that store? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crushing. Never thinking the fact that, like, you know, he probably lives in the store. It was like a mattress in the back. That was the back room. You couldn't go into it. You, you know? couldn't go in there. It was his house. It was his house. Like, he probably, you know, probably not crushing it, selling bongs in Comac. Or he did love it. Yeah. Like, that's all he needed, man. Like, if I, you know, the real. It's all he needed, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to open up my bong shop at 1130. <laughs> this is as early as I can wake up. Bong yeah. shops are never open early. But I guess that makes sense. Nobody's like. Who's trying 7 a.m. To... Like, I need a bong. No, I mean, if you're smoking weed at 7 a.m., you, you have other methods of intake. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. You're not sm- you're probably not smoking a bong at 7 a.m. No, no. Although it's like I, liquid eye drops or some shit. I used to. I used to smoke a bong anytime. Yeah. Any fucking time of day, dude. I used to wake up and smoke weed before I had a chance to think about it, so that way I could just smoke weed for the rest of the day, guilt-free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there goes my day. Yeah. There goes my day. Yeah, I guess I'm just smoking weed for the rest of the day. I used to be so shot. I remember I had to get ready for work. Yeah. And I went out on the deck, smoked pot with the people that were there from a party from the night before. <laughs> went back inside to go take a shower to get ready for work. Went back out to the deck, smoked some more weed, looked at the clock and went, oh my God, I got to take a shower. And they were like, you just took a shower. Oh. And I was like, no, I didn't. They were like, feel your hair. I was like, oh, okay, I did, I did shower. I, did, I could not even, rem- I had to feel my hair that I had. Now I'd be fucked. Right. I don't know right. what I'd do. Take many showers. I'd probably yeah. just You're keep like, showering. Your head's wet. No, that could be sweat. I could yeah. Be sweating. Uh, uh, just to be sure, I'm going to take another shower. You're still sweating from the shower. <laughs> or just not shower. I mean, I don't know, dude. My... <gasps> but did you look cool? Probably not. Probably look pretty <laughs> stupid. I used to smoke pot so much, dude. So much. Were you happy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was miserable. Miserable. But I used to smoke pot all day, every day. Maybe if I smoke more, I'll be happier. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe if I smoke a little more, I'll be happier. Yeah, maybe this will be the time. Maybe this joint will do it. Maybe this bowl is the thing. Oh, well, it's nighttime. Yeah. Maybe it's the Maybe it's the bong that's the trick. Maybe I should hold it in for three seconds instead of two. Just constant experimentation. Just never... Never finding it. No, of course not. Of course not. These pants would make me happy, though. (laughs) There's no meme here. It's just boner pants. Real pants, by the way. That's a sleeve for a boner? Yeah. That you could thrust into the air. Looks better if you're ripped, obviously. Do you have to be hard all day? Mm Mm-mm. 
What if you get flaccid? Does it stay in the pocket? Mm. Depends how big you are. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it depends uh, Depends what you're packing, but... Because nothing would be sadder if you shrink out of the pocket and then the pocket's just fucking <laughs> s- s- sagging in front of you like a fucking windsock. Squidward, uh, Squidward's nose. And then you get hard and it goes next to it and there's a fucking sock <laughs> hanging. <laughs> Yeah, you better have pretty good boner aim. Yeah, man. You better have pretty good fucking... You better not go left or right. You got to be, like, hanging right there. You better hang right there, yeah. You can't... Uh, I mean, I don't know what the point of these pants is, except novelty. And look at his stance. Do you have to stand like that? I mean, it helps. It helps, yeah. Sure, yeah, if you want That's that thing. Swing pose. <laughs> <laughs> those pants are insane. Yeah, those are... How much Should... are they? 15 bucks, huh? It's a funny gift, you know? It's a funny gift for someone who's uh, constantly talking about their boner, I guess. I don't know what, who you'd give that to. It's funny to walk around. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, Dad. Dad, you're always hard. I know you're always talking about your boners with, uh, with the grandkids, so. Oh, man. Here's your boner pants. Yeah. Swing. Bone abdomen. Bone ab petite. <laughs> Bon Ab Grande, I guess. Man, I, I got yeah. I'll, I'll check those out. I already got you a pair. Oh, good. I'm that's wearing what, them. That's what you're wearing on the gay episode, guys. Sure. Yeah, shirtless. we're gonna stand like that. Hundred thousand subscribers. Um, shirtless episode in these pants and boner pants. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll save that for a million subscribers. <laughs> I will wear if we get a million subscribers. Oh yeah, I'd wear those. I will take some kind of. We'll take photo a photo shoot like that. Yeah, definitely. If we get a million subscribers, when, when we get a million subscribers, I will take a photo like that. Not only will I take a photo like that, I will do an entire episode. Yeah. On with the boner, Cialis or Viagra. I'm not going to be able to stay hard the entire time. Obviously, of course, it would be enhanced. A, God forbid anybody from my family listens to this episode, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just like full blown, you know. Yeah, torque, fully torque, <laughs> fully torqued for no reason. <laughs> no, we're talking to each other. It's not sexy. It's gonna be a priapism. It's gonna be a situation where I'm gonna have to call the doctor afterwards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Four hours. Or. Well, whoever gets a boner first, we can hold hands. The whole time. Yeah. With boners. We can hold boners. <laughs> we could tie the tips together Or we could get do extra it on, long Like a Chinese uh, Yeah like a finger trap We could do it on VR So you don't know What I'm looking at I don't know What you're looking at <laughs> Right Maybe I'm doing Jessica Rabbit or something Oh yeah Yeah <laughs> wonder if she's Available in VR That's gonna be Hotly contested Everyone wants Jessica Rabbit she's, It's a digital Fucking asset dude She's more than enough To go around When is that gonna happen They're gonna reboot that Any fucking minute Roger Rabbit? Oh, yeah. They're not going to reboot that? Of course they are. I'm surprised they haven't yet. They're doing it now. It's I probably, guarantee somebody's fucking animating it right it's probably, now. It's probably a lot of work. And they're going to make Jessica Rabbit less sexualized. Oh, yeah. Well, did you hear that Ace Ventura is becoming known as like a problematic movie because of the transphobic scenes in it? Where Finkel is Einhorn, they pull the thing, she's got to take oh, right, her right, pants, right, right, and everyone's right. like, blah, blah, blah. They're all putting gum in their mouth and everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, nineteen ninety four, dude. And and if you're not attracted to men, and you made out with a man, and you found out you made out with a man, would, what would your reaction be? Right. Be fucking honest here for a second. Right. It's just us. <laughs> Nobody else is here. It's just us. Yeah. This is this is a circle of trust here. It's a circle of trust. It's still funny. I don't think that's... I don't see it as transphobic, but now I'm going to be painted as that. Well, yeah, you are transphobic. But I'm not. And you're homophobic. Am am I? Yeah, I mean, your brother... I mean, I know how you feel about your brother. I know you secretly hate him. But I don't. I know! (laughs) It's fucking crazy. It's wild. It is absolutely... I mean, there... Listen, dude. I mean, to go back almost two decades... And go, hey. Two, three. 1994. Yeah, so we're in the 20s, oh bro. Oh, my God. Three, bro. Okay, so to go back three decades and go, hey, 
that Eureka. wasn't that good. Yeah, you, go back five decades. You want to you want to talk about some shit? <laughs> Eureka. <laughs> People didn't know as much. I found something that was problematic. Good for you. What are, are you proud of yourself? Like, what is to what end are you bringing this up? Yeah. What do you What do you wish to achieve by this? Oh, it doesn't make any sense to me, dude. I thought you were going to say they were rebooting it because imagine recasting Ace Ventura. Oh, no, you can't. He created that's him. That's, that's, yeah, exactly. Jared's got the hair. I could do a pretty, uh, pretty good Ace Ventura. Everybody did. In my, like, high school, you know, uh, lunchroom, yeah. all the class clowns would always. Whoever was like trying to be the class clown yeah, all yeah. had an Ace Ventura impression. All had the whole like, you know, like the with the all righty oh, then. You know, yeah. Were they wearing the Hawaiian shirt and the tutu for Halloween? And- yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, dude, I, I it got to the point where my friends had like an intervention for me. Like two and a half years later, I was still doing that shit. They were like, "Bro, enough." I remember my friend Steve was like, "Dude, please, enough already." It was the bore out of the nineties. Oh say, yeah. Right after that, they're like, "Thankfully, George is done saying that." And he's like, "My wife." Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Seamlessly transitioned from Ace Ventura right into Borat. Oh yeah. Never had a personality of my own. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wonder if people. I wonder if the people tr- transitioned from Ace Ventura into Borat into finding. Things to be upset about. I wonder if those are the people who are like. We need another one of those. We need something else. No, no, I mean like that's what they became. They just became. Oh yeah. Like they were probably the biggest fans of Ace Ventura of all of them. Even though I was the biggest Ace Ventura fan. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, stop looking for things to be upset about. There's enough. Life is hard enough. Right. Relax. And if and if nothing bad is happening right now, just enjoy it. Yeah. Don't dig up a fucking VHS of Ace Ventura <laughs> and find a, a, a fucking cassette player. Leave it alone. And say it's transphobic. Besides the point, I think about this all the time. Not all the time. I, I was talking about it yesterday. Like, the trans population really has a stranglehold on society right now. Yeah. I think, that, like, you know, people, the trans community or the super woke um, community is, is mad at Dave Chappelle for making jokes about trans people. And his whole contention the whole time has been, like, they kind of just skipped the line on... On everybody, especially black people. That's what he said in his special. Um, and it's kind of, you know, it, it is kind of true. Like, how did they just jump the line and get everyone in line? Yeah. Like, if I'm a recovering alcoholic, right? I would never be so... And trans people would represent such a small percent of the population, which doesn't mean they shouldn't be treated as humans and shouldn't be treated with respect and kindness. They should not be violently attacked or looked at as fucking less than human because of the the, the way they present yeah. or their identity. Um, but I would never, as a recovering alcoholic, demand that all the bars be shut down in my town. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I hear so, you. So to demand like that, you know, we need unisex bathrooms or whatever, it's like... I don't know. I just don't understand how the how it became such a big issue when it's such a small percent of the population. It's a weird. It's a. It's something that I don't judge or have an opinion on. Really, it's just fascinating to me that such a small percentage of the population became so powerful. Yeah. So, so like out of nowhere. It's probably like a signal of if you can accept that. It's like the most extreme version yeah. of of identity. Yeah. True. And if you can accept that, then. Any other spectrum on that identity is cool. So it's yeah. almost like maybe that's the the benchmark. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So it's not about them as much as like so everyone along okay. the way. Yeah, everybody's okay. Yeah. Which I could see that element of it, but okay. I, I to- totally understood. And the idea of like Chappelle saying that there's a line and it was skipped is funny. <laughs> Just the idea that there's an actual line, which I think that's the meat of the joke. So you're saying that the point is that if you accept trans people for who they are and grant them every obviously societal courtesy yeah. you could possibly grant somebody obviously you're going to be okay with black people and uh gay people and all of the people in that, between that represent yeah in, in between let's let's call it a wealthy straight white cis male with no disabilities yeah and then this person the assumption is that if you're okay with this person over here you're okay with everyone in between me i'm great, seeing that yeah great point yeah, yeah. okay all right, we figured that out. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's back to the memes. Yeah. Very good. Uh, this this meme reminded me. Ah, I don't know which one I want to look at first, actually. Well, this meme reminded me of something that happened. Me, I brought a new bought a new muscle shirt. My mom, it's nice, but too bad the muscles don't come with it. <laughs> mom, mom just crossing you up. Crossing up Steph Curry. Moms will fucking annihilate you sometimes. Yeah, because they can. They know exactly what to say. But this this reminded me of the time that my dad got me a jacket for Christmas. <laughs> And I went to return it because it didn't fit. And I got a vest instead. And my dad looked at me dead serious oh, no. and went, what about your arms? <laughs> and that's when I started working. <laughs> no, no. He was like concerned that my arms, he's like, but I got you a jacket. So your arms would be covered as well. Oh, I thought he was like making fun of your arms. No, no. He was like, what about your arms, son? They're going to be they're going to be cold. You know, like he could not fathom why I would take a fully. You have less material now. You you took what I bro- you took what I bought you and and made it less. Yeah, you made it worse. You made it less capable of keeping you warm. My intention was to keep you warm, and you've disgraced me. <laughs> you've dishonored me. Shamed your family. How dare you? It's like coming back with just arms. <laughs> yeah, hey, like, what about yeah. your torso? <laughs> I got sleeves. What about your body? <laughs> So I wanted to bring that up. And then this, I think we could probably spend the rest of the time on. We need a slur for toddlers. (laughs) (laughs) By meth waffles. We need, like, just the urgency with which he posits this. And then the person below says, uh, in Polish, we have gaunyaki, which roughly translates to shitlings, which is, you know, the less funny part. The fact that this guy just came out and said, we need a slur for toddlers. Oh, my God. I lost it, dude. Like, we really do. Needing a slur is just the best. For toddlers. (laughs) For anyone. Needing a slur. (laughs) (laughs) Like, so I trying to explain to people that don't have kids, what having kids is like. Good luck. I know. But I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I, I would start by saying, like, imagine the stupidest... Employee? Most annoying friend. I was thinking employee. Imagine, like, being on a call, and, you know, everybody's so annoyed with their calls they have to make all day on Zoom, Teams, whatever. And you know how nobody really does their shit right? And the people, like, you know, people annoy you. Mm-hmm. Co-workers or whatever. So imagine the worst co-workers. Imagine they, the dumbest co-worker you have, you've ever had. They keep doing the same dumb shit. And they follow you to every job. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden, they, somehow they become your boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're doing work for them. You work for them, basically. And you can't quit. No. Not, not for the next 18 years, anyway. You're stuck with them. It's a full time. They never leave. They never leave. You think fucking, you think you quiet quitting? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good luck quiet quitting that. They've shit themselves. Yeah. How are you going to quiet quit that? Yeah. They're hungry. They're in your bed. They, they pissed on your bed. Yeah, they ruined your furniture. Oh, they've ruined your whole everything. Oh, they won't eat. No, they won't eat. Hey, here's the food. I just made you all the food. Uh, I'm not eating that food. Uh, what? But they are crying because they're hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they will cry until they're hungry and then and then deny every f- piece of food that you make them. <laughs> it's it, it's insane yeah. having kids. It never stops. And then people without kids are like, hey, what are you doing tonight? I'm recovering from... The day. Recover. I'm literally just going, oh my God, I can't believe we got them safely into bed. Yeah, what are you doing tonight? I'm sitting down <laughs> is what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm going to sit down. Yeah. Big plans. I'm going to sit. To sit down. For a while. <laughs> Until maybe I piss myself. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. One day. One day the tables will turn. And they'll have to take care of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I and can't. I won't eat shit. I can't wait. I won't eat anything. I don't want that. And the doctor will be like, they, he really has to eat. And I'm going to go, ah, I don't like it. Yeah. I want mac and cheese. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Dad, you can't eat mac and cheese. Right? Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, I want it. And throw it at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I want dino nuggets. Mm. You had that all week. You got to put something healthy, Dad. 
I can't wait to flip it. And then, yeah. uh, and then just kick the fucking table, knock the food <laughs> onto the floor. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't wait to be an elderly toddler. <laughs> it's going to be the best. Oh, yeah. I'm going to enjoy it. That's what it's like having kids, though. Oh, yeah. It's insane. And nobody tells you that. They do. You just don't. You're like, oh, no, I'm going to be different. Yeah, you've, I'll you will figure it out. You see it, and then you're like, D- nobody could possibly prepare you for the incessant nature of it. Yeah. It is quite incessant. It's, I mean, literally, listen, my kids are at school right now, so I'm not, you know, uh, not taking care of them right now, but I could get a call at any second. <laughs> yeah. You're always on edge. Uh, yeah. I got a, uh, I got a, a my, my son told me that, my son who's in kindergarten, by the way. Went to the principal's office yesterday. Oh, God. Yeah. He goes, I went to the principal's office today. And he gets so sad and nervous when he gets in trouble. And I was like, why? What happened? He's like, I already told mom. And I was like, well, I, you know, I don't know what happened. He's like, I already said it. And I was like, well, I don't know what happened. He's like, what happened? He's like, mm, I said butt cheek. I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, I said butt cheek to some girl in my class. I was like, they sent you to the principal's office? I was like, this is fucking, what? It's a little extreme. I was like, I'm going to fucking tell that principal to kiss my butt cheeks. <laughs> and he laughed, finally. He was so sad. Aww. I was like, dude, I was like, listen, obviously don't do it because you don't want to get in trouble, but like, between me and you, that's a little silly. Yeah. You said butt cheek? Yeah, it's, that's not one of uh, George Carlin's famous eight words. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, butt cheek doesn't make the cut. You can say butt cheek. You should say butt cheek. You should. You're here in kindergarten. Yeah. The girl he said it to got upset. Okay. She's fucking stupid. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. You're, I mean, if that upsets you, wait. Buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> buckle up. She's about to get. Yeah. Life real. is. Yeah. Life's gonna come at you. Yeah. It's gonna come at you. Round. Oh shit. Okay. So this this is for this is for listeners of the podcast only. So if you're not a listener. Uh, just go back and listen, because this is something that we talk about quite often. <laughs> you won't last 30 seconds playing this game. Why the fuck would I want that? <laughs> the fucking guy's forever alone smirking like that's something good. Why the fuck would I want that? Great question. What, yeah. ge- what, what is this game that I won't last 30, 30 seconds? 30 seconds? Playing? That's not very long. And that's barely enough time for, for, for me to get my pants down. It's not going to be any fun. <laughs> Sounds like a bad game. Yeah. Sounds like a very frustrating game. Yeah, you'll be really, you'll feel like shit about yourself in about 28 seconds. Yeah, I mean, and then God, when you're done, oh my God. Oh, the horror. You're going to need to go to church. You just look around and question everything. All your choices. Post-nut clarity. What am I doing? <laughs> PNC. Ugh. Delete, delete. Ugh. Oh, God, delete my life. Delete all my choices. Turn into Howard Hughes, washing your hands until they're fucking raw. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Dude, that's why I can't even, I, I cannot even look at porn anymore. Yeah, it's huh? Really become, uh, ugh. It's like, okay, dude, I get it. They're fucking. <laughs> and? <laughs> I get it, sex. Yeah. Cool! Uh, and the, I, they're editing it more and more, like, crazy. Like all, like the ads and all this stuff. Anything oh. I see is like, what is this? It's like a TikTok video. <laughs> like the crazy, like, <laughs> uh, 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 like they put that in it. Did they really? Yeah. I don't watch those. I see like the ads. Like, what is this? <laughs> boing, boing, like, boing. Whoa, whoa, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. They turn it like slapstick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds horrible. It's, it's horrendous. That sounds terrible. I just, it makes me, like, like. I have pre-nut clarity now. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's the best kind. I have pre-nut clarity because I've, I've, my post-nut clarity is so strong because I've, I think I've looked at too much porn. It lasts, like, to the next day. Oh, la- no, it's, it lasts. Well, it lasts for indefinitely? No, not indefinitely, but, you know, what's funny is I, I'm, I, I like, think, just thinking about addiction in general these last couple of weeks leading up to the anniversary, I was thinking about people who have, like, you know, I'm not addicted to porn. Well, how often do you watch it? Every day. Once, you know, my wife goes to bed. Oh, okay. So. So you need it. Yeah. I don't need it. I just want it. I I, want to watch it when, you know, 
Well, try not watching it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I can. Yeah, we'll do it. No, I don't want to. I could. But you can't. That's the thing. <laughs> like, I remember um, somebody was talking about how they, they don't smoke cigarettes. They're not, they're not addicted to smoking. It just so happens that around 5 p.m. every day, <laughs> they start smoking, and for the rest of the night, they smoke. I'm like, yeah, that's when the addiction kicks in at, like, 5 o'clock for you. Everyone's different. They were like, really? I'm like, yeah, that's, you know. Yeah. They were like, fuck. Yeah, that's how it works. Everyone's, everyone's addictive cycle or, or clock is different. You won't last 30 seconds smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I used to smoke a cigarette so fast, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking drill it into my fucking face. <laughs> chain or no? I would chain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chain smoke, chain fucking, chain everything. And you're not done. I would go out for, like, the break, and I would do two, maybe three sometimes. Oh, yeah. And I'm not, like, full. It's not like I'm satisfied. No. I'm like, okay, back to work. Smelling like shit. You're just waiting to smoke the next cigarette. Yeah. I know we're smoking cigars. I mean, people might be calling that out, but it's different. It is different, bro. You smoke, a, you smoke a cigarette, you get that little punch in the back of the throat yeah. from the little mini karate mouse that, like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it punches your, uh, yeah. the, the thing that's dangling. The little, <laughs> that, uh, oh, the thing dangling in the middle, the fucking punching bag. That, uh, tonsils? No, your tonsils are the, are the balls. The thing that hangs in between. I don't know what that's called. Epiglottis? Uvi- uvula. Uvula? That's the, I don't know if I'm making that could it be looks a, like a punching bag. That could be a vagina. Like that though. could be it's a vagina part, part for all I know. Uvula, yeah, I think that's part of your uh, cack. Vulva. Um, that's the only reason I smoked was to get that little. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fucking. I mean, how many of those a day did I experience? Three <laughs> hundred. Yeah, great. How many do you need, dude? Most people run out of a fire when the building's on fire. You suck it in. I suck it in. I actually have sticks that allow me to bring the fire wherever I am. <laughs> Organic vaping. That was the best thing to Organic. quit. That was the best quitting. Yeah. Like, that was a good thing to drop. If anybody out there does it, like, think about stopping if you can. Not to turn it preachy. Everyone who smokes cigarettes thinks about stopping. Yeah, that's true. Literally, there's not one person out there who smokes guilt free. Yeah, even the one like the dedicated like leather jacket, like oh, part of my yeah. part of my DNA kind of smoker. No, yeah, nobody. I don't think so. Yeah. I highly doubt it. People use it. Yeah. <laughs> alarm ringing. The person who set the alarm. People around the person. <laughs> what a great remix of that guy. Yeah, Fifty Cent and the fucking what the fuck is going on guy. And then and then the worst is if they're snoozers. Oh God. Now you fucking woke me up. At least get up. Mm-mm. Now we're both laying here. No, half, we're half asleep. We're both gonna wake up five times between six and seven a.m., and you're gonna like it. I like that this guy is sleeping with fifty cent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell the story about my friend's mom? Yes. On the podcast, I believe so. And, about, and it's sn- worth it's worth a quick retell. And snoozing. I called my friend, and. We, I had called him and I and he missed me and then I called him I, I let it ring once and then I was I was like I'm gonna call him back because I haven't spoken to him in a while and yeah. whatever and then he called me back and it rang once and I was like this fucking guy because he rang it once and then hung up and yeah I was like, yeah this guy's playing games fucking guy he's a jokester yeah so I called him back and like five minutes later because I was dropping my son off at school. And he picked up, and he, he just goes into this thing. He's like, oh, bro, sorry. I fucking, you know, I called you, and then I, I hung up. My, my girls are here. They're climbing on my mom's bed. She's, she was, snoo- you know, the alarm clock is going off and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, is she a snoozer? That's annoying. She can fucking alarm clock kept going off. <laughs> He's like, no. But anyway, yeah, like, I'm here, and the girls, you know, they, they, they were climbing all over and blah, blah, blah. And I just wasn't getting it. You already know the ending, but long story short, he goes, bro, the ambulance is here. My mom passed away this morning. I, I got to go. And I was like, huh, wh- what? I just called her a snoozer. <laughs> and said she's annoying for it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, bye. And he hung up. I couldn't even say it. Yeah, it was just like, the ambulance is here. My mom passed away. I got to go. And I happened to fucking call him and call his mom a snoozer. And say she's annoying for it. Because I was thinking of this girl that I dated that used to snooze like six times in the morning. Yeah, this wasn't that. No, she was, she, she had passed away. And he was trying to tell me, but he couldn't, like he was so upset that he couldn't get the words out. 
and the girls were climbing on her saying, Grandma, wake up, wake up. His daughters were saying, Grandma, wake up, wake up. And she wouldn't wake up. What a horror. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, so this meme made me think of that, I guess. (laughs) But, yeah, I mean, that's the furthest my foot has ever gone in my mouth, ever. Yeah, that's a tough. Up to my knee. Yeah. And, I I mean, there's no. You didn't last 30 seconds on that phone call. I did not last 30 seconds on that (laughs) phone call. It was a bad fucking phone call. Yeah. That's as bad as it gets. It's, it, it, I don't think, even if I had the Law & Order SVU writers helping me, I could come up with a worse <laughs> real story than that, of just saying something so stupid that you can't even... Yeah, you're lucky they didn't show up at your door. Like, hey, this is a, this is a special kind of stupid. So we're here, we're SVU. Right. It's, that was heinous. <laughs> yeah. What you did to your friend, <laughs> unintentional as it may have been, was pretty fucking heinous, dude. So we're taking you in. Ice T is gonna say some clever shit about it, but <laughs> we don't know what yet. Oh my god, poor guy, and the poor girls finding her. <sighs> Where do we go now? We'll go right here. TV when deaf people are alone fighting. TV when the parents walk in moaning. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I love. Deaf people memes so much. It's also the parents walking in during the sex. Yes, scene. It, there's a lot of combination yeah. going on here. Like the when like like when a deaf person sees somebody yawn on a plane. That meme. <laughs> like they're screaming. Yeah, like they think the plane's crashing. <laughs> I'd be watching some closed captions though. I can't lie to you. Oh, I watch yeah. it. Are you? I watch it on uh, House of House of the Dragon. Uh, you know, it's the only time I know that phones trill. They don't ring. Cows low, they don't moan. Y- and people y- scoff. Move. Yeah, people. Sc- yeah, people scoffing. I didn't realize how much fucking scoffing was going on. A lot of scoffing, man. Motherfuckers be scoffing like crazy. <laughs> Scoff. Sigh. From another room. I was on yeah. Parks and Rec. Somebody, I, I think, I forget who says it. I think it's Nick Kroll goes scoff. He did. And, and <laughs> Adam Scott's like, did you just say scoff? <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Subtitles are. Absolute necessity at this point. Yeah. What is it like our age, or is it just like what they're saying? There's no way. There's no way anybody's watching Game of or what is it? I call it Game of Thrones, but the fucking House of the Dragon, House of without of subtitles, and knows what they just said. No, I'm way. sorry. No, no I'm way. Sorry. Between the names and the fucking and and the medieval language, zero chance they're picking up more than half of what they're saying. No, it's like reading a book. Yeah. I'm surprised the subtitles are right half the time. It is impressive. I mean, really, there's there's no way that I would have made it through Game of Thrones without subtitles. Not because of noise or attention span. Just like you said, like there's and there's also a lot of stuff that people say in a way that maybe the the screen is not on them that you catch. There's a lot yeah. of shit happening, like a key moment, like oh yeah. shit, did he just say that? Like, there's no way I would have caught it. Yeah. Did you watch the Bling Ring? No. Cool, dude. Is that like the new Lord of the Rings, just all recast, and it's all about like yep, Hollywood. hip-hop yeah. <laughs> from the 90s? Middle Hollywood. <laughs> no, and I don't want to tell you the ending in case you watch it, but it was fucking good. Oh, yeah? Dude, the ending, it was just one of those, like, they must have... What it, genre is this? Is this like a comedy? A documentary. Oh, documentary. So three-part miniseries about teenagers who robbed... Celebrities in okay. 2009, 2010, 2011, somewhere around then. They were robbing, they robbed Lindsay Lohan, uh, the girl from the Hills, Paris Hilton. They, they robbed these people of like millions of dollars worth of stuff. Shit. But the ending. Makes it worth it? Fucking usual suspects level ending. Oh shit, don't tell me that. Now I'm, I'm going to like. Am I going to suspect like the least suspected and catch it now? No, it has okay. nothing to do with the people. Okay, in it. good. Don't tell me anymore. Yeah. Don't tell us anymore. Okay, I want to see it. I hope you watch it and watch our podcast. Start watching that. You. Uh... Oh, me? I thought you were talking <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> no, you. And we haven't talked about this guy. I just bit my tongue. Oh, that sucks. Andrew Tate, <laughs> what a crazy feminist. Their mom. Viciously attacks their traditional masculine values, takes their Xbox. (laughs) (laughs) 
You know Andrew Tate is? What's he doing now? Who the fuck knows? Yeah. Who knows, dude? Somewhere being absolutely mis- the most misogynistic person you could possibly be. Yeah. Oh, it was an act. It was an act. Mm-mm. I mean. It, then why? It was, yeah, yeah, to what end? And it was pretty long. Yeah. And pretty, like, pretty fucking. Convincing. Are you like a method actor? <laughs> Because he said the things he said everywhere, all the time. Yeah. To everyone you spoke to, on every platform, the same way. It's hard to be that consistent. Consistent, yeah, good for him. I mean, I, I really believe that whether things are an actor or not, like the slut whisperer, when he when people are like, oh, he's actually a really great guy. <laughs> What's the slut whisperer? Carol? The s- slut whisperer is a guy who throws parties and like just degrades women and yeah, fucking, yeah. you know. The champagne face. facials. The champagne facials, pouring champagne, like pulling their clothes off, you know, signing their tits and pouring champagne down their pants or whatever. Like, you know, the girls are there. Yeah. They're signing up for it, but it's also like, okay, I don't know. It's not, not, my, not my style. Yeah. And he's also like very um, just degrading to people in general, right? Yeah, for the content. For the content. But, you know. Like, how long do you do it before it's not really an act anymore? I'm not saying he's become that person, but, like, when you only have so much to, to go by. Listen, I'm not saying I think Keanu Reeves really would kill people for his dog, but there's other things to go by. Right. There's other interviews that he's done. There's other movies that he's done. There's other content to say, oh, okay, I mean, he was acting there. He's not just Baba Yaga. What is Baba Yaga? That's the character. That, that's in John Wick. Yeah, that's what they call him. That's like the boogeyman name for him. I've never seen it. What? I know. Wow. It's good. I know. Just fucking beat him up like crazy. Just fun. And Keanu's so fucking awesome. Dude, when is Brendan Brendan Fraser gonna just like kick it in gear, get in shape, come back and just crush it? We love him. I love him not in shape. Yeah, I get that too. I'm not like body shaming at all. Yeah. You know, and he did that, the whale, which I can't wait to see. But he's like a great looking guy. And he still like could do it. I think he still could do it. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? I think after the, the success of the whale and the press he's getting, he'll probably. He's just so cool. He's so nice and lovable. I just always think of him when I think of Keanu. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I wish the best for him, man. Yeah. I think we all do. Yeah. I um, When he came out in Encino, man, I mean, the girls win. Nuts. George of the Jungle, fucking yeah. The Mummy. Yeah. It's great. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Can he get it, like, a couple of fucking, like, celebrity trainers, do it for, like, a couple months, just get his shit together, and do it, like, be the leading man in some crazy movie? I don't know if that's his... He will. Absolutely. After this movie, it's his comeback. But you don't think it's his thing? I don't know if being hot is his... Thing. Yeah, yeah. No, but he could be a handsome leading man. Yeah, he, he could be handsome. Like yeah, he's. he's anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That, I don't want to seem like I'm again, like I'm body shaming him or anything. But well, you're not body complimenting him. I'm saying he, I've <laughs> like I, he's like still cool. I, th- I feel like he still has that like youth enough to be able to do it. Yeah, I don't know how old he is. I mean, it doesn't matter. I wish. I wish it was not. I mean, not that it's. It, it's never been okay to make fun of someone for being fat. <laughs> But I was made fun of so much for being fat when I was young. Yeah. I wish kids thought twice about it back then. Or somebody gave a f- <laughs> Right. Like the parents, <laughs> the parents would chime in. <laughs> Look at a little fat yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah. My friends would insult me in front of my mom. Yeah. yeah. I wish somebody gave a shit to say a word. While your mom was still feeding you the shit she feeds you, though. Yeah, right? Exactly. They wouldn't yeah. change the diet. Yeah, 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 just snort these Twinkies, honey. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Just eat the pain away. Yeah. Everything will be okay. Oh, man. You'll be jacked for the rest of your life. <laughs> kind of fat, kind of jacked. A tween, if you will. Husky. A bear. I'm a bear <laughs> in the gay community. I'm husky as fuck, dude. I'm ne- never not husky. Yeah, always be husky. A-B-H, baby. <laughs> I met that guy. Oh, fuck, I've meant to tell you guys about this already. We'll close on this. This is a. This was a great internet moment. Have you ever seen the dad video where the guy is in Glen Gary, Glen Ross, and he's like, um, he it's you know he pretends to be Baldwin, 
monologue. Baldwin monologue. Mm-hmm. And the guy's in there, and he's like, he's he's not understanding what's going on. Oh, he plays the guy in the room with, yeah, yeah. with them? Yeah, yeah. I think so. What, is he excited about the steak knives or something? Or is he like... Well, he's just like... <sighs> so I get on this plane, and I'm sitting next to this guy, and he's got a mask on, right? And I'm in Mint, Jet Blue, whatever. And when you're in Mint, it's like chances that it might be somebody are like a little better than normal yeah. than in Coach, where yeah, the yeah. fucking peasants sit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so <laughs> he has the mask on, and I'm like, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, what, what's your name? And he goes, Mike. I'm like, Mike what? I forget his last name, unfortunately. It'll be in the caption. And he's like... um, I'm like, what do you do? He's like, I write for Stephen Colbert show. I'm like, yeah, but what else do you do? He's like, I've done some, you know, some things. I'm like, you do videos, right? You do like internet videos. He's like, nothing you've ever seen me in. I was like, bro, I'm telling you, I've seen you in. <laughs> you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I remember everything I've ever seen. <laughs> Not only everything I've ever seen, I've watched this 30 times. I was like, I'm telling you right now, I know your face. I know you from somewhere. I know a video that you've done. I can't remember it right now. And then all of a sudden, I was like, fucking boss baby. Glenn Gary Gunn Moss. He's like, how do you remember that's awesome. that? Oh, dude. Did he so, love it? He must have loved it. Oh, yeah. That's great to be known for, like, to be recognized for that, for like a little one-off. Yeah, yeah. He must have been like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, it was great. Let me see it. Okay, let me turn the volume up. This is such a great thing that they do where they kind of like, Mix internet and real movies. Anyway, so yeah, funny, right? That's unbelievable. Yeah, so good. <laughs> this guy from Boss Baby. Man. He stole the whole thing from Boss Baby. Yeah, that's the only thing he's ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've, I mean, I've watched it so many times. I've shown it to so many people. I recognized <laughs> this part of his face. That's, that's incredible. And he had a hat on. I was like, bro, I'm telling you I know you from somewhere. I was like, just give me, give me a second. Did you scare him, or he no. was hyped? No, he was. Yeah, he was very cool. We talked, you know, we talked for a while. Not the whole flight, obviously. I'm not a lunatic, but <laughs> I just love, int- I love funny internet stuff, and that to me was brilliant because they did such a good job recreating the lighting, the scenery, yeah. the the whatever. Um, they do. I did a, a thing with them with Bane, where we were. I, I was Bane's brother, trying to figure out what we were going to get our dad for Father's Day. <laughs> and I'm the psycho trying to figure, like, trying to get him, like, crazy shit. And Bane's like, why don't we just get him a tie? You know? <laughs> and I'm like, how about we get him the head of his enemies on a platter? He's like, how about a just Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> gift card? <laughs> I was the crazy one. 
So anyway, yeah, we had um we had a nice conversation. Shout out to you, Michael something. Shout out to Mint. Michael Cruz Kane. Michael Cruz Kane. Very funny guy. That's great. Writes on the Stephen Colbert show. So shout out to him. Shout out to JR Cigar. Shout out to you, the listener, the watcher, the viewer, the fucking absorber. The reviewer. The reviewer, the raider. By the way, just to wrap things up, stop consuming so much. Yeah. Um, if you're not going to ingest it, don't just mindlessly consume content. That's what I've been trying to focus on. Just don't consume, consume, consume. Ingest. Put stuff in your brain that you think might be beneficial to you, even if it's not like helpful, educational, inspirational stuff. Don't just like, you know. Yeah. Be don't be at the mercy of your feed. Yeah, don't be at the mercy I of get your it. feed. Be deliberate about the content you take in. And if you're being deliberate about this. You're doing well. You're doing real good. Five stars for you <laughs> and for us. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe, rate, review. Meme Daddies. We love memes. We're your daddies, your children. We love you. And you love us. And, uh, and we're done here. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> you wanted it. You wanted it.